Uh, all right, good day, Carl. How are you going, mate? Yeah, very good. That's good. I guess um, you must be really enjoying this uh, this must win kind of pressure that seems to be uh, on top of you at the moment for you know the last couple of weeks and again now. Um, yes, very much so. Um, that's when you perform at your best, when you're under the most pressure. And um, tomorrow night's going to be no different. It's um, a must-win game for us. Um, and even if we win, we're still not guaranteed a final spot. So um, all we can do is um, go out, give it our best shot effort, and get the three points. You mentioned the players perform at the best when they're under the most pressure. How, how has it been, I guess, in the change rooms with the guys through, through your lens? Yeah, it's been excellent. Um, the boys seem to be, you know, training the house down at the moment. They're really enjoying it, and um, even around the hotel at, at meal times and after meal times, the players stay um, as a group and play games afterwards. So it's, um, you know, it's um, going along really well. Western United obviously hot on your heels. They took the points on the weekend. Did you watch that game, and, and how closely have you been monitoring what they're doing? Um, I watched it till half time um, and then I, I turned it off and then saw the final result. Um, you know, we're not really that focused on anyone else. Um, we, we've just been really concentrating on ourselves, on getting the results ourselves. And um, at the end of the day, that's all we can do. Excellent, thanks. I'll hand over to whoever is up next. Thank you, Will. Passing over to next is Steve Larkin, AP. Steve, you have some questions? Hi, Carl. You can hear me okay? Yeah, yeah all good. Yeah, thanks. Um, can I just check on the um, health of the squad? Do you envisage any, any changes to your starting starting side tomorrow night? Um, we've got a full squad. Um, at this stage, I haven't finalised the starting 11. I'm tossing up between um, two players. Um, you know, we've looked at Melbourne City and um, and I've looked at the previous times that we've played them and Alassane has done ex extremely well when he played them before. So there's a good chance that he could come into the starting 11. What, what particularly worries you about City and, and your scouting of them? Um, look, they're a very good side. Um, you know, I, I think our advantage is this will be our fifth game. It's their second game, so we should have a little bit better match conditioning um, going into the game. Um, and looking back over the previous um, fixtures against them, we've played quite well against them. So, um, you know, we're going to implement very similar to game style that we played against them previously. And just personally, do you think you've um, done enough? I mean, I know you, you know, would like to be the ongoing head coach. Um, your performance has been superb, but do you think yeah, you've, you've obviously put your best foot forward in, in that job application, if I can put it that way? Um, yeah, it's, look, it's um, coming into this hub, I, I said that I would like the job full time going out of it. Um, and I know it's just not on the performances. There's a lot more to it. The club are looking to go in a new direction with the whole club and the way that they want to, to go forward. So there's a lot more to it than just the results that we're getting here in the hub at the moment. Has it, has it been what you, what you expected as, as the man in charge? Or? Um, yes, it has. And um, to be honest with you, I'm having the best time of my life. I haven't been this happy for a long time. Um, I'm really enjoying it. And it's, you know, there's nothing better than going in and being in charge of um, 21 young players that um, that want to succeed and give their best effort every time they train and every time they play. There's nothing more you can ask for, as a coach. No worries, thank you. That's all for me for the moment, thanks. Thank you for that, Steve. Uh, next up uh, performs Christopher Harris. Chris, do you have any questions for Carl? Uh, yeah, I just got one quick one. Can you hear me, Carl? Yep. All right, cheers. Uh, I just had a quick question on how you think you might have to um, target or combat Jamie McLaren. He's obviously been in um, true form this season. Does any extra work go into him or do you focus on, I guess, Melbourne City's whole front career as opposed to just their single striker? Um, look, yeah, of course, um, the defenders have to be more mindful of him um, because he's you know, quite lethal in and around the box. He's scored, I think he's already scored three times against us this season. So, um, yeah, most definitely. And we have to be aware of his position um, in and around the box. But that goes to so, and the same as whoever we play, you know, the attacking players, the defenders have to be aware. And we've shown quite a few f bits of footage of Jamie and how he makes his runs in behind and where he likes to position himself in the box. So um, we've given the, as much information we can to our defenders. Awesome. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, Chris. Uh, 
Josh Money at Channel 10, are you on? Yeah, I am. Hey, Hi, Carl, how are you? Yeah, very good. It's good. Carl, you've, um, you've obviously put in a lot of work with the squad in trying to uh, shore things up at the back, and for the most part, you have, but, but I guess three games now we, we have still conceded after that clean sheet initially. How have you found that progress there? Are you, are you happy with the, the progress that's been made in defence? Yeah, most definitely. Um, you look at us before the, the break and you look at, at us now defensively, we're, we're a lot more compact, a lot more um, disciplined in our uh, defending and it's a lot um, more difficult for teams to open us up and score goals. So I'm um, more than happy and there's always room for improvement, but um, the way that we've progressed, I've, I've been very happy with it. You mentioned that recent form against City, obviously at the cup final being no exception to that and that of course under a slightly different and more open game style in Gurchin the Bank. Does, does that mean you almost, given that's had success against City in the past, does that mean you might consider going back to the future a bit in, in, in this sort of game plan for, for tomorrow? Yeah, look, we've as said um, we spent a, we spent a bit of time looking back at those um, two games that we played them, the 4-0 and the 3-1 um, and sh of course we're going to take um, moments from that game that we did well and caused them trouble and we're going to look at that and see how we can implement that again because that's what you do. You look for the team's weaknesses and see how you can exploit them. You were critical slightly of, of Al Hassan and, and, and the condition he came back in. Obviously given that you're considering starting him tomorrow night, what uh, changes and improvements have you seen in, in him and his attitude in the, in the past few weeks? Yeah, you know, I take my hat off to Al Hassan. Um, we challenged him. Um, and he's, you know, worked extremely hard since we, he's been in the hub and, you know, he's fixed up the mistakes that he made pre-hub. So, um, you know, and that's what all you can ask from young players, you know, to learn and, and improve and he's done that. So, um, so he's really pushing on the door to get into that starting 11. Uh, given games in hand, uh, even if you do win tomorrow night, it could still be a, a very tight finish for the six. But I guess regardless of that and, and ladder position, how proud are you of, of the group and, and the way that they've embraced this challenge uh, so well and, and performed so well regardless of ladder position? Yeah, it's, it was very important. It was not just important for the playing group, but it was also very important for our supporters to be able to see that um, the team has bonded well and, and put in a fantastic effort. You know, um, the players can be proud of their performances so far and I'm, I'm pretty sure our supporters would be very happy with the performances that they've put in so far as well. Great. Thanks, Carl. Best of luck. Thank you. Thanks, Josh. And finally, just open to Marco. He's got... G'day, Carl. You were just saying before, you said, you know, you guys are match-hardened compared to Melbourne City. You've had just the one game. I mean, what... Do you think so? So, so in terms of their condition, do you think that they'll be like a little bit maybe I don't know, like towards the end of the game, they're going to have they're going to have more legs, or will you guys have like more legs because because you guys are hard more? Yeah, I'd expect us you know, with the match conditioning. You know, um, they've been training a lot, but um, training doesn't isn't the same as playing matches and. We always talk about that as players and coaches about getting that match conditioning, and our players now are, you know, playing their fifth game tomorrow, so they're getting to a point now, and we can we've seen the improvement from every game in their fitness and their numbers. So, um, so we're expecting to play the game at a very high tempo tomorrow to try and um, make it in our advantage. I know you just said before, um, you know, regardless of what happens, you like, you know. You are you, that you're really, you know, sort of proud of the guys. But say it's a win tomorrow night and it's still not enough when it comes down to, you know, after all the other games, how, like how tough would that be to swallow for you and the guys, you know, considering what, you, you know, what you would have, um, sorry, what you would have done? Yeah, it'd be, it would be difficult because, you know, I've, coming into this, we knew that we needed to get 37, around 37, 38 points. That's normally around the, the benchmark for the top six and we knew that. And we set that as our goal to, to get to the finals. And, you know, the boys have worked extremely hard to do that. And that's all I've asked them to do is um, control what we can do. And I'm more than happy for what the boys have put in so far. And, and if it's not enough, it's, you know, there's not much more we could do. And mate, former Adelaide United uh, player there, Scotty, Scotty Jamison's missing this game because uh, his partner's having a baby. Um, 
Do you think there'll be a loss for, for Melbourne City is there like Skipper as well? Yeah, of course. He, he provides um, good leadership for the team. Um, and that left-sided balance that he provides for the side as well. So, and he has a lot of experience. He's played, um, you know, I don't know how many games now in the A-League. He's played a lot of games. So he's had a lot of um, finals experience as well. So, yeah, surely that's a big hole to fill. Can you exploit that on, on the left-hand side? You were just talking about the balance that, that may not be there now for them. Um, yeah, look... I'm sure we will, as I said, we've looked at them, them tactically, how we're going to exploit them, and we've looked back at the previous games. So um, that, they're a very experienced side. You know, they have a lot of experience, not just, um, you know, they're going to miss the captain, but they've got a lot of um, experienced players in that full squad that they've got. Um, you know, it's tough there for the younger players to break in because they've got so many experienced players.